the majority of VaporGuard that gets used here in the States is used at two times. Okay. The first application sometimes coincides with what we call straw color. And if we have very large cherry crops, we believe we get better size and some potential color development if we make that straw color application. If from straw color to harvest, if we get some periods of rainfall that may come in, and that may be sometimes five to seven to 10 days before harvest, we will often get an extra application of vapor guard on at that point to try to reduce the amount of moisture that sits in that stem end area of the cherry Less water in the stem end, less potential for cracking. If you're putting vapor guard on uh, cherries at straw color, that vapor guard is going to still be on that surface easily for two to three weeks after that. What you have to remember is, is the vapor guard is polymerizing. So it's going from a multiple layer and it's slowly breaking down. So sometimes if, if there's just a hint of a shower coming in, often our growers may not make a second application because they know there's enough vapor guard probably still there to be of benefit. The situations where they'll come in with a second application is where the forecast is calling for a number of days of rainfall, possibly uh, a, a half to a one, one and a half to two centimeters of rain. Then they may decide to recover before that rainfall, sometimes with a half rate of vapor guard in order just to give it some extra protection to try to help keep the rain off the cherry as long as possible. But our growers, our growers have uh, understood after working with the product for 15, 20 years that it's a tool. It is not a, we call a silver bullet here in America. Right. Yep. Uh, excessive amount of rainfall, they're still gonna get cracking and some degree of cracking, even with vapor guard. But their amount of cracking or loss is reduced greatly. Okay. Part, of the, part of the phenomenon with cracking, for example, in the type of year we've had this year in Pennsylvania, we went through probably one of the longest periods of heat and drought. Lately, over the last three weeks to a month, we've had an excessive amount of rainfall. Part of what happens with cracking is that as you've had a tree that's been going through drought, once it gets a lot of water in the system, it's not just the water that's on the fruit, but that water is being taken up from the root system and is rapidly coming back through that plant system. By having vapor guard on prior to large amounts of rainfall coming in, you're again, you're slowing down transpiration loss and moisture loss. So as we've got all this rain that recently came in, the tree is not gonna pick up and force all that water back through the plant system. Again, cracking sometimes is a phenomenon of dry weather, dry weather, dry weather, and then a lot of rain. But part of the cracking is actually the water being pulled up from the tree because it's been so dry right. and forcing it through the system, which actually also causes cracks in the fruit. Especially in the later uh, stages of fruit development. Uh, like Part of the function of vapor guard is to try to keep water off the surface, but also as it's conditioning the tree, with a lot of rain coming in, the tree will not pick up and take that water back through the plant system as quickly.